Alright, good morning, YouTube. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit. It's been a while. It's been a while. But, um, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you real quick about something that just crossed my mind. Um, a few things that crossed my mind. But, um, this thing, in particular, I'm cleaning up. The first thing that I want to talk about is um, not letting life keep you from living. Um, getting so caught up in what's going on um, and your programming, the way you think, um, your routine, getting so caught up in your routine that you stop pursuing the things that you really enjoy because a lot of the routines are uh, sub-routines. Um, uh, routines that were created um, as a secondary option because the original option couldn't be done at that time. It's that stepping stone. Sometimes we get stuck on a step. Um, whether the incline to get to that step wears us out and that's what we're taking a break for or or whatever but we, we tend to stop and take breaks at, at different steps and that if we stay at that step our life revolving around that step remains the same and then that keeps us from living because living is moving forward so um, how do you handle that one, identify your routines, identify where you're stacking at, identify your ambitions and choose your ambitions over your current lifestyle. Um, raise your standards, as Tony Robbins would say. Um, move uncomfortably into the next step of your life, um, into the next phase. Um, be honest, open, true, and real, um, and and be mindful of what you actually want. Self care is super important. Now, yeah, self care is extremely important. So if you're unable to take care of yourself, um, yourself isn't going to take care of you. Uh, meaning, um, there's always a connection there, but um, if you're not going to take care of your body, your body has no reason to get you to the goals that you, uh, your mind aspires for. This is why I tell a lot of people that uh, you know, you keep water in your life. You know, keep watering your life. You know, work out. Uh, don't let the job keep you from working out. Because the job, if it keeps you from working out, if your body's not healthy, it's going to be harder for you to have willpower and move forward in your motivations um, to be present. Because you're always, um, you're always tired. You know, you're always tired. Um, yeah, I highly recommend having a scale. Um, weigh yourself every day, and weight isn't as important as what's causing the weight. Because you could be big, solid, two, three hundred pounds of muscle, uh, or you could be. You know, 200 pounds of, you know, solid, you know, 400 pounds or whatever. Um, or you can be 100 pounds and unhealthy is on the way. So, a malnutrition. So, um, yeah, don't let life keep you from living. Uh, take the time to, uh, in my situation here, I'm cleaning up, purchase a property, and, uh, just doing a little spring cleaning. And, you know, whenever you're cleaning, it shows you where you're at mentally. 
because there are things that just need to be done. And if it's yours, you're the only person that's going to do it. So if it's not getting done, it's because you didn't want to get it done. And that's with everything in life. If you don't have what you want, it's because you didn't do what it takes to get it. It's only you in between your goals. That's it. It's only you in between your goals. So, um, keep yourself together. Uh, actually write down your goals. Um, and make sure that the why behind your goals is set because that's what's going to take you to your goals. Um, that why is is the vessel that you travel in and it determines how fast or how slow <coughs> how fast or how slow you go. You got a strong why, you got a Ferrari, you got a Lamborghini, you get there quick. You get there quick, but if you your why is weak, it's not real reason for you to move as fast as you want to. You know, so as fast as, as fast as possible in your best interest actually but yeah it gives me a few things to think about it gives me a few things to think about um, it's a process it takes time so don't let that keep you so don't let that keep you um, from moving forward, the fact that it's not happening as fast as you want it to. Because um, the satisfaction that we get is from the time that we spend on something once it's over with. So the memory of it or the idea of it, you know, or the achievement, it's, it's there. Um, yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's there. Um, but we'll have to see. But anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to keep cleaning. I just have to take a real quick second to just shout out to you and, and share my ideas. It's a trip.